Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Corner to Corner or C to C tutorial series. We're going to be starting out by just making the corner to corner, doing the increases. That's in this video. We'll have a separate tutorial for how to turn it into a square and also a tutorial for how to make it into a rectangle. So for whatever shape you want to do with your C to C, we're all going to be getting started right now. So grab your hook, grab your yarn, let's get started. To make a C to C or corner to corner, I am just going to be using this scrap yarn. It's chunky, size 4 weight. You can use any yarn, it can be thicker, it can be thinner. Just use the corresponding hook that you would like to. I'm using a 5 millimeter. You'll also need a darning needle and some stitch markers. You'll need red ones, two red ones, and a green one if you are doing a rectangle or just red ones if you are doing a square. And also, if you don't have stitch markers, you can just use scraps of yarn. So, oh, and also some scissors. Love my scissors. Let's get started. To make the corner to corner or C to C, we're gonna start by making a slip knot. Any which way you make a slip knot. Shrink that down and put it on your hook. We're, now we're going to do a chain six. So all of our blocks are going to start this way for building. So this is our average building block. Starts with a chain six. So one, two, three. I pinch that one. Just put your thumb on it. And one, two, three. You can also just count to six if you like. I just do it in threes because now I can wrap my yarn and into the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, right where I'm holding. I just push my hook straight into where my thumb is, getting two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that was just a one double crochet and we're going to make two more double crochets, one into each of these chains. So into the next chain down, push your hook into the bottom part of it. You want two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And again into the last chain, wrap your yarn. Go into the bottom part of that chain stitch two loops of yarn on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is our first building block of the corner to corner and that is what they're all going to look like. You're always going to have a chain three and you're always going to have three double crochets. So that was row one finished because we start at the corner so it's going to be like that. Corner finished. Now we're going to do another building block to start the second row. So chain three, one, two, and three. Pinch that one and chain three more. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn and into where you're pinching or the fourth chain from your hook. Push your hook into the bottom part of that chain stitch. Two loops of yarn on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And we're going to do that into each of these chains going down for a total of three. So into the next chain, bottom of that chain, so two loops on our hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Now this one here, it looks funny because it's a joining chain. It's kind of a weird looking one. You just want to get your hook into the bottom part of it, two loops on your hook doesn't totally matter at all, to be honest with you. Wrap your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two. So now it looks like this. You have two weird little bits hanging down there. So flip the first one you made up like that. So just turn it up or flip it up and you'll see your chain three space is just there. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain three spot to join them up. So do a tight, get some tension. You want to do a tight little slip stitch, not a, not a big one. Little slip stitch and now we're going to chain three to start our next block. One, 
two, and three. And into the chain three space, we're gonna make our three double crochets. So first double crochet, second double crochet, and our third double crochet. So all of our blocks along the center are gonna be like this. So they still have the chain three and they still have three double crochets. They just go a bit quicker because they're going into that space, not fiddling around into a chain or into a stitch. So that is the really fast bit about corner to corner. So now we have finished our first row with one block and our second row, which is two blocks. So we're at the end of our row. This is our side here. So we are going to chain six again. So one, two, three, pinch, one, two, three. Wrap your yarn and into where you're pinching or the fourth chain from your hook, we're gonna do our double crochet. And into the second chain, into the bottom parts, so you have two loops on your hook, our second double crochet. And again, into this funny stitch there, that's your chain, so just go into the bottom part of it, wiggle your hook in, get two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, and finish your double crochet. So now that is how far we've gotten. So you're going to flip up your work, again, always. So these kind of look like little mountains, and the mountains always have to face up. Find your chain three spot, put your hook in to the chain three, and get some tension on your yarn, you're gonna do a little slip stitch. Little slip stitch to hold it all together. And now we're gonna do our chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochets into that chain three space. So one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets. Now we have to join this up so it's together. So look for your next chain three space. Push your hook inside and get some tension and do a small little slip stitch like that. Chain three, because we want to build a block into this spot. One, two, three. And three double crochets into that same space, the chain three spot. So each chain three spot is where you're going to build your blocks. So now we finished our third row. One, two, three blocks. And you can kind of see they're a little bit like stairs. So we're gonna go up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. All the time. So we're at the end of our row. So we're gonna do our chain six again. So one, two, three, pinch. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn and into where you're pinching or the fourth chain from your hook. Put your hook in, two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So into the next chain, two loops on your hook, double crochet, and into the last chain, two loops on your hook and double crochet. Now turn up your work, flip it up, mountains facing up, and now you have to join this loose stair. So find your chain three spot, put your hook in, a small little double, a small little slip stitch to join that up, chain three, because you're gonna build a block, and we're building our block into that same chain three space. So three double crochets, That's our third one. Find your next chain three space. Slip stitch into there, small little slip stitch. Chain three to start building your block. Three double crochets into the same chain three space. Find the next chain three spot to hook it together. A small little slip stitch. 
and we have to build a block into that same chain three space. So start by doing a chain three and three double crochets into the same space. And don't worry if this doesn't make sense, if it's all confusing, it takes five rows to fake to have it in your head to not worry about it so basically don't think too hard just keep following along we're going to do one more row and then the row after that you're going to you're going to get it if you haven't already but generally people are still confused right now so don't feel don't feel pressured or don't feel bad just keep going and it'll all of a sudden pop straight into your head so now we're on the side here again on the edge so we're going to chain 6 to build our block. One, two, three. Pinch it. One, two, three. Fourth chain from your hook or where you're pinching. Push in your hook, two loops on your hook, double crochet. Into the next chain, push in your hook, two loops on your hook, double crochet and into the last one. If it's hard to get two loops on your hook, you can just get one. The thing about two loops, it makes the edge, it kind of matches how the other side looks a little bit better. But it doesn't totally matter unless you really care what that looks like and you're not putting on a border. So if it's difficult, just go into one loop. It's not gonna, nobody's gonna notice but you. So turn up your mountains. and slip stitch into that first chain three space. So slip stitch into the space, chain three to start your block, three double crochets into that space. Oops, lost it. That's number two, number three. Slip stitch into the next chain three space to join that one up. Chain three to start your block. Three double crochets into the same chain three space to build your block. Slip stitch into the next chain three space to join it up. Chain three, three double crochets into that same chain three space slip stitch into the next chain three space to join that up A little tiny slip stitch chain three to start your block just always remember when you get here you still have to build a block sometimes you're like oh I'm finished you have to build your block into this last one that can kind of be a confusing bit but wherever you are slip stitching when we're increasing you're always building a block so three double crochets into that chain three space and we're at the edge so at the edge we always when we're increasing chain six one two three pinch one two three into where you're pinching or the fourth chain from the hook. Slip in your hook, two loops on your hook and do your double crochet. Into this next chain, double crochet. Then into the last chain, double crochet. Turn your mountains up. And we're gonna join this up. So look for your chain three space. Put your hook in and a little tiny slip stitch to join. Chain three to start your block. Three double crochets into the chain three space. Two and three. Slip stitch to join that up to connect your stairs. Slip stitch, chain three to build your block three double crochets into that same chain three space. Slip stitch into the next chain three space to join up that stair. Don't want any loose stairs. Chain three, 
three double crochets into the same chain three space. Find your next chain three spot to join that up. Slip stitch to join and chain three. Three double crochets into the same chain three spot. Slip stitch into that next chain three space and chain three. Remember to build your block. So we need to do three double crochets into that chain three space. And this is the last one of this row. Now it's nice and straight here. Right? So now we're going to build our block. One, two, three chains, pinch, one, two, three chains. Total of six. And into the fourth chain from your hook or where you're pinching, your first double crochet, another double crochet into the next chain, trying to get two loops on your hook, but it doesn't totally matter. And into the last chain, that funny looking one, two loops on your hook if you can. Turn up your mountains and slip stitch to that first chain three space to join. So now you're going to build your blocks the same way all the way back and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So each of these spaces gets a chain three and three double crochets and slip stitch into the next chain three space to join it up and then repeat. Chain three and three double crochets and then slip stitch to join. So do that all the way along this row, this staircase, and I'll see you at the end of this row. When we get close to the end of the row, we have to connect that stair or that mountain. So into the chain three space, hook in, slip stitch to join, and do your chain three, two, three, because we have to build our block. Three double crochets into the same space, two and three. And now build your block, chain three, pinch, chain three. So that's a chain six. Into the fourth chain from the hook or where you're pinching, put your hook in, trying to get two loops on your hook double crochet and into the next chain, double crochet and into the last chain, the funny looking one, double crochet. Turn up your mountains so your mountains are facing up. Now we're going to connect this loose stair so find your chain three space, slip stitch to join, chain three to start your next block three double crochets into the same space and slip stitch to join and continue all the way back along the staircase or the mountains until we get to the end. At the end we're going to slip stitch to join up this into the last chain three space and remember to build your block so chain three and three double crochets And now we're at the end of the row, so you're going to do the same thing. Chain six. So there's my three pinch and my three. And now into where I'm pinching or the fourth chain from your hook. Double crochet into the next chain, double crochet, and into the next chain, double crochet. Turn up your mountains and slip stitch to join it up. So now you're just going to keep building from there and you're going to go until this side here is the length you want it to be. If you're building a triangle, this part here is going to be going down your back and this is going to be wrapping around, this will be your neck and this will be coming around your shoulders like that. So you're going to want to keep going until this is as wide as you want, like on your, uh, along your arms. 
and this will be down your back. If you're doing a square, you want to go until the side is the width you want your square to be. This is the measurement of your corner to corner, or this side, you know, wherever you've finished, they're gonna be the same. Uh, and if you're doing a rectangle, keep going until the side, this, this one along the point, either one of them, is the skinniest, the width of the skinniest part or the skinniest side of your rectangle. So keep going until this is as skinny as you want it to be or the size of your square. Or this is the width of your shawl if you're just doing a triangle. So I hope this helped you get started on your corner to corner. We're gonna do decreases in separate videos so that you can decide if you're making a triangle or you are making a square or you're making a rectangle. So there'll be three options to finish this off uh, in separate videos depending on what you're up to. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or in our Cal group on Facebook and stay hooked.